just before joining high school, my mind was hosting a rowdy conference of fears. The most terrifying fear was the fear of being bullied. I had heard stories of seniors defining first years as pregnant mosquitoes and taking them to toilets to do breathing exercises. I dreaded this transition. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, when I finished primary school, I was this rural village boy, used to schooling under a tree and in grass-touched, mud-walled grass, uh, classrooms. For six years, I carried a wooden stool to school to sit on. Every Friday, <clears throat> we would use cow dung and water to smear our earth floor cl classrooms to fix their dusty nature. I was always top of my class. My classmates admired me, and my teachers liked me. Then in February 1993, I started high school wearing my first ever pair of trousers and shoes. The expansive school and the many strangers and many locations overwhelmed me. My bed was the upper deck of a double-decker and my bedmate was this bully Form three boy who gave me two roots. One, whenever you want to turn in bed, <laughs> first get down, turn, <laughs> then get up. <laughs> and two, whenever I want to go to the toilet, Wake me up. <laughs> I was in an emotional roller coaster, being at the peak of adolescence and in a radically changed environment. This affected my performance, leading to a massive academic downturn. From a boy used to topping 99% of the time in primary school, I was now comfortably leading from behind. <laughs> For three years, I scored a mini grade of an E, the lowest <laughs> in high school. It was a difficult transition. Towards the end of the third year, I started realizing that my time in high school was nearly up. I started imagining about the bleak future that I faced. Then I summoned my mind to a meeting, and I bed a decision that for me to save myself from imminent doom, I needed to burn the midnight oil. And I did it. So every single day, I could do till 4 a.m. in the morning. 
studying and revising the stillness of the nights satisfied my desire for maximum concentration. And by the end of the third year, I had my best ever grade in high school. In, form, in the fourth year, I started scoring A's in subjects like mathematics and biology. By the end of the fourth year, I was among the top three in my class. I had successfully retraced my steps, manifesting my brilliance, reinforcing my belief in Oliver Napoleon Hill's quote, what he said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. This was a major turning point in my life. I sustained my transition through university, graduating with an honors degree, and over time, I've acquired several professional certifications and risen through the corporate ladder, from a banking clerk to a head of a function in a region, having served several local and multinational financial institutions. Whenever I think about my success, I remember the decision that I took to take charge of the difficult situation that I was in and create my future out of it by reflecting on my situation and imagining my future, I found the solution right inside of me. What decision do you need to make to create your turning point in your life? I mean, Toastmasters to create a turning point in public speaking. I think this is what the founder of analytical, analytical psychology, Carl Gustav Jung meant when he said, your vision will become clear when you look inside your heart. He who think, looks outside, dreams. He who looks inside, awakens, contest chair. 